Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to my channel, Practical Programming with Dr. Su. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with web GPU graphics programming. In the last video, we discussed how to create two cubes using uniform transformations. In this video, I will explain how to create multiple cubes using the instance approach. This approach can draw more than one of the same object that is faster than drawing each object individually. WebGPU has two drawing functions. One is draw, one is draw index. These two functions take the instance count, first instance, as their input arguments. Here the instance count means the number of instances to draw. The first instance means the first instance to draw. By combining these two parameters allows you to specify a particular range for the cases where we don't want to draw all of our objects. For example, if we set instance count to 10, the first instance to 0, this means we want to draw all the objects from 0 to 10, so we total draw 10 objects. However, if we set instance count to 8, first instance to 3, here we draw 5 objects from start from 3 to 8. You can see from first instance to the instance count. So we set the drawing the range from, five, uh, from 3 to 8. So drawing total 5 objects. Here, we will use the get tool to clone the source code used in the last video. From this link, you can download the source code used in WebGPU 49, the example. Now, we can start Visual Studio code directly from Windows Start menu. So, Visual Studio code. This is a Visual Studio Code interface. Now let's start a new terminal window. For the CD a new code folder, and then make a new folder, MD called GPU50, and CD into it. Design a clone the source code used in the last video with the command create clone webgu 49 After this command, we leave a space and a period. This will place our, our source code in the current folder. So run this command. We can check the code directly. So you can see all the source code is indeed in the current folder. Now we can open this folder from Visual Studio Code, open folder, code GPU50. So here contains all the source code used in the last video. Now we can open a terminal window and I run the command npm install to restore all npm packages used in this project. OK, finished. Now all the installed packages are stored in the node modules folder. Next, we need to make some changes to the index .html file from dist folder open index.html file. First, we need to change the 49 to 50 because this is 50th uh, video. We also need to change the H1 title from two cubes to cubes created with instance 
the rest of the code is the same as that I used in the last video. So we can save this file. Now we need to make some changes to the Cedar code from SRC folder. Open Cedar dot wgsl file. So we need to replace this content with the new code. And this code is very similar to that used in the last video, except that instead of a single MVP matrix here, you can see MVP matrix here is an array with 35 elements, because in this example, we want to create 35 cubes. In addition, we introduce the build in instance index here. It's a build in variable. And perform the transformations on the vertex position use the matrix array. You can see MVP matrix is an array with the index instance index here to perform the transformation on the position. The other part of the code is the same as that used in the last example. So we can save this file and close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the main.ts file from src folder open main.ts file. Here, the data cube data one is the same as that used in the last video. But Cedar, we made some change here. Inside this create 3D object function, we also use the same vertex buffer, a index buffer, and also a random pipeline is the same. But we need here we need to replace the uniform data and uniform buffer, the definition. So we need to replace this part of the code. You can see here we introduce three constants. One is nx equal to seven, ny equal to five, ni equal to nx multiplied by ny is equal to thirty-five. Actually, it's the total number of the instance we want to draw. This means we want to draw a total of ni instance with nx columns and NY rules. We then define the size of each matrix equal to 64 actually here, and define uniform buffer size as NI times matrix size. Next, we create a uniform buffer. You can see uniform buffer with this size, uniform buffer size, and also create uniform binding group. Use this uniform buffer. Next, we define the model matrix. You can see the model mat, this model matrix. Now, this matrix is actually is an array. You can see this matrix is an array with ni, the total number of the instance, as number of elements of this array. We then use double uh, for loops, you can see here, to add elements to this model matrix array with a different translation vector. You can see the translate the vector with a different translate vector. So this will put the, our cube at a different locations. Next, we need to replace the code for the drawing function. So we need to replace this part of the code. Here, the draw function contains the key code block for our instance drawing. Here, we first define the model view projection matrix, MVP matrix data here, for each instance using the model matrix array here, model matrix i, this is the array, and also set a different rotation for different cubes. So from here, we construct an MVP uh, matrix data. 
Then we call write buffer method to write this MVP matrix data into this uniform buffer. Finally, we call the draw index method. You can see draw index methods to draw our cube. You can see we not only specify the number of vertices, but also specify number of instances using NI. This is the total number of the, uh, our instances we want to draw, which is in our example is 35. Okay, now we finished the modifications to this file, so we can save it. Up to now, we have finished all the programming. We can then run the command, open this terminal window, and run npm run prod to bound our TypeScript code in production mode. OK, the bound file is created successfully. Now we can click Go Live link to view our cubes. Click this link. Here are 35 cubes with different vertex color. You can see here. This cube at a different location, and they can also rotate independently. You can see. Now we have completed this example. In next video, we will discuss how to create different objects in a single scene. Most examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical Web GPU Graphics. From this link, drsu.net.com, you can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this video series. I also created a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.